Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, how to remove or compress the valve spring. This is actually not how you're supposed to do it and not how to use that. This is because the com spring compressor I had, it just broke. It's probably because it's made in that specific country, you know which one. And you can actually find proper tools now. So this is the solution I did just to remove uh, the valve keepers. So if you can don't use that, never use that, because it might probably bend or break. But if you have something similar, like a bar or something, I use actually a socket as well, and I actually compress two springs, not just one. I'm just showing how you can use your uh, any tools, bits you have in your garage, like in your toolbox, some kind of old engine parts, this is how you can use it. But this is not how you should do it. Oh, you can you can actually use this if you have spare one. You can make, you can maybe buy one or a few on the internet and have them spare in your uh, toolbox if you're doing project like that, but never use it again on this engine. I'm using this just because to show you and also this engine is uh, just bad is it's, it's bad so I not care I don't care about that part anymore. This this car not gonna well that engine not gonna be running. So I just done that to show you creativity how you can do it without having special tools and it's actually quite fast so let bear with me I'm gonna pull one uh, valve out okay so I just uh, remove the tension from the spring that's the spring that's your valve or the valve stem and and seal these are very common in any car any engine because it's made of rubber if the rubber gets old that's the um, that's the spot when the oil can get through and get gets to a combustion and gets burned and creates smoke usually on idle or high rev revving and this is pretty common for oil consumption as well uh, so okay I'm gonna just flip the cylinder head and I'm gonna pull that valve out and we're gonna do some more talking okay cylinder head is is upside down now and that's the intake valve it's pretty clean because it's intake valve this is a valve seat this is a bit of hard material it's not aluminium it's a hard ring which is pushed in it's pressed in and this is how the valve and the valve seat creating a sealed uh, chamber this is uh, where your compression uh, and of course your uh, piston rings these are the main factors to create uh, pressure so if one of these have a 
worn surface or bend or gap or something there will be a, a simple leak air leak compression compression uh, leak so this is another thing to do check your flatness and check how, uh, if the valves are sealing properly if not that's another job grinding these two s surfaces together so same same principle you can mix valves with different with different valves well on this engine you can't mix intake with exhaust because they have a different size however you can switch between yeah that's the gold, golden rule so again you can buy simple kit uh, valve, lap, valve uh, lapping kit you can do it yourself it's just like piece of uh, two suction cups uh, on the stick and two usually two uh, uh, polish, polishing compounds uh, polishing grinding compounds one is uh, rougher the other one is uh, finer so this is what you do is laborious but you can do it at home or you can pay somebody to do it usually machine shop they're gonna do it for you however they they charging for each for each port if they doing job on the on this port and you're doing grinding that's gonna be for example five pounds to do grinding of the valve and also they're gonna charge you for removal and installation so that's another uh, cost if you're doing uh, valve guides this thing inside that's the valve guide I got spare some some kind of spare ones this is brass usually they are using brass in newer engines they are using cer ceramics I think so if you if you're replacing valve guides they're gonna charge you additional amount of money for just for one guide so imagine 24 valves 24 vi valve guides uh 24 valves to grind and there's a lot of things you they can do so imagine that you can spend a fortune doing this so if you want to avoid it you can do some bits at home yeah, so this is a valve guide and this is a valve this is soft metal this is very hard metal and on top let me just find one okay and on top you have your uh, valve seals valve stem seals they are pushed in it's not perfect however there's a special pair of pliers to do it they sit on top and they seal that rubber seal that gap between uh, valve guide and valve stem for any oil or air so that's that's free uh, maybe three or more but main things flatness and also resurfacing to remove any leftovers of old gasket any like corrosion that's that's why you need to do it second thing is valve grinding to meet uh, total seal and valve stem seals each time you taking head off it's recommended to change valve stem seals do resurfacing however you don't have to do resurfacing if you're doing this second time 
if you've done it before you don't have to do resurfacing just checking for flatness removing any any leftovers cleaning with probably acetone I think is the best uh, for the cleaning and grinding the valves if you do that your cylinder head is going to be probably like new a part of the fact that you have a you might have a problem with clearances and we can check that in a minute that's the valve play well the guide actually if that guide gets worn so that hole is going to get bigger and that valve going to have a bigger play especially exhaust side any any job related to valves on the exhaust side because there's more heat on this side of the cylinder head rather than intake because of more heat so this valve I think that's that's the same as M54 the maximum amount of play if is uh, half of a millimeter I think that's what Bentley says doesn't look like much okay this is a that. dial gauge each revolution of this dial it, it's one mil if you if I press it slightly here you're gonna see full revolution or even more so I should make a special uh, stand for it to stop it from moving but this is just to show you how what's the idea to how to measure the uh, the valve play in the guide so what you're doing just pushing that that way the valve have to be like in the opening position just pushing that way sticking the tool and pushing the other way this looks like not that much it's the didn't reach uh, the full uh, ma maximum wear so it's not so bad however the exercise might might be worse that's what happened to my cylinder head on uh, M54. I have to remove the valve guides, replace them. One of the um, one of the exhaust side uh, valve was leaking, so there was a lot of compression as well. So okay, guys, that was about valves just basics it's not the procedures and stuff like how to do it at home but this is the idea how to do it I don't know what what else I can show you about uh, oh yeah, there's one thing I'm gonna show you in the next video how to check for leakage any valve leakage I'm gonna show you how to do it. it's very simple anybody can do it at home without ba without even basic tools what you need what you need is a cup of water so thanks for watching